Tesla Model 3 rear-wheel drive available for $399 per month with three-year lease. January 28, 2023. The Tesla Model 3 RWD is the company's most affordable vehicle today. Starting at just $43,990 before incentives in the United States following the substantial price cuts implemented earlier this month. A look at Tesla's order page for the vehicle shows that Model 3 RWD can be leased for a very reasonable $399 per month. As per Tesla's online configurator for the Model 3 sedan. Selecting lease on the vehicle's finance options defaults to the all-electric sedan having an estimated $399 per month rate. This is, at least, if customers opt for a down payment of $4,500, a lease term of 36 months, and 10,000 annual miles. Customers who wish to have 15,000 annual miles can expect to pay $447 a month. Customers who wish to lease the all-electric sedan for 36 months and 10,000 annual miles can expect to pay $5,594 upon signing the vehicle's lease. This amount is comprised of the Model 3 RWD's first month's payment and an acquisition fee of $695. Those who wish to lease the Model 3 RWD with 15,000 annual miles can expect to pay $5,642 upon signing. The Tesla Model 3 RWD's affordable lease price is available through the company's leasing service. Tesla leasing is available in the following states. AL, AK, AR, AZ, CA, CO. CT, DC, FL, GAR, HI, IA, ID, EEL, IN, KS, LA, MA, MD, ME, MN, MO, MOUNT, NC, ND, NJ, Nanometer, NV, NY, O, OR, PA, RE, SC, SD, TN, TX, UT, VA, WAR, WV, WAY, the Tesla Model 3 RWD may be the company's most affordable vehicle in the United States today. But it is still a very well-equipped car. In its most base form, the vehicle still comes with basic autopilot as standard. Basic autopilot offers traffic-aware cruise control, which allows a Tesla to accelerate and brake to match the speed of surrounding traffic, and auto steer, which enables the vehicle to follow clearly defined lane lines. The Model 3 RWD also features 272 miles of EPA estimated range. A 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 5.8 seconds. And a top speed of 140 miles per hour. Without any additional options, the vehicle is shipped with pearl white multi coat paint, 18 inches aero wheels, and an all black interior. Source. Reposted and summarized from Maria Murano at teslarati.com. My take. Wow. What a great deal, for such a great car. What's next for Tesla? January 28, 2023, Tesla CEO Elon Musk confirmed during the company's most recent earnings call on Wednesday that the automaker has other products being developed. Of course, Musk did not shed any detail on them, but based on what the company might need, and what others have said in the past, we have an idea of what they could be. Musk said, I should also say that there, we have other products in development. We're not going to announce them, obviously, but they're very exciting, and I think it will blow people's minds when they, when we reveal them. Tesla has the most exciting product roadmap of any company on earth by a long shot. A Tesla van a Tesla van might be in the product roadmap, especially as Musk has hinted toward the idea on several occasions. In late 2018, Musk stated that it may be interesting to work with Daimler Mercedes on an electric sprinter. In early 2021, Musk reiterated this point while speaking on the Q4 and full year 2020 earnings call, stating, I think Tesla is definitely going to make an electric van at some point. While a Tesla van might be a great idea for some personal applications, this would be something that would undoubtedly be used as a commercial vehicle. To this day, Sprinter vans are utilized by a variety of companies, from auto parts stores to car detailing businesses. However, Tesla may find the biggest application for it internally, still utilizing some Ford Transit vans and some Model S and Model X vehicles. Among others, for its mobile service fleet, Tesla would undoubtedly see several advantages from developing a van. For one, Tesla still struggles with service, especially at physical locations. 
with the company delivering over 1.3 million cars last year and only growing its store and service locations by 120 this past year. Or 10 a month. Mobile service could be the company's key to improving its overall effectiveness. The mobile service fleet grew 24% in 2022 compared to 2021, with 303 additional units added last year alone. However, this could likely increase further if Tesla developed and built its own service vehicles. And let's face it, they'd be much more cost-effective than leasing expensive service locations. A Tesla van would also enter a market with relatively small amounts of competition. Currently, the e-transit holds 73% of the segment, with 6,500 sales last year, offering only 236 miles of range in its custom offering. The e-transit could be challenged by a Tesla van. A more traditional pickup this one is a bit of a long shot. But it could definitely still happen. Musk stated in an interview with Automotive News in 2020 that if the Tesla Cybertruck was a flop, the company could develop a more traditional pickup design. If it turns out nobody wants to buy a weird-looking truck, well build a normal truck. No problem, he said, with over a million pre-orders currently. It does not seem as if Tesla will do this, at least not any time in the near future. However, chief designer Franz von Holtzhausen, who confirmed the Cybertruck design was finalized, did state Tesla never really puts a pencils-down approach to the subject, while the whole idea behind the Cybertruck was to break the mold of traditional pickup designs. Some may want to continue with Tesla's expertise in EVs while having something slightly more normal. But, in my estimation, don't hold your breath, a Tesla boat in regards to Tesla's ecological paradise. Musk told us in September that the company filed to expand Gigafactory Texas from the southern portion to make way for this project. Visitors would be able to float down the Colorado River to downtown Austin. But instead of Tesla kayaks, Musk said the company could develop electric Tesla boats with a retro-futuristic Victorian design. Musk has already hinted that the Cybertruck will likely be able to float and navigate through water, at least to an extent. However, it seems that a boat could be developed for at least the company's internal projects. Like the ecological paradise it plans to build outside of the Texas Gigafactory, $25,000 mass market sedan heavily rumored as a Tesla project for several years. The $25,000 vehicle is the company's key to mass affordability for many consumers. When Chevrolet announced huge cuts on the Bolt EV and EUV last year, it became one of the most affordable EVs you can buy. And it was a car that was recognized as a major needle mover in terms of EV adoption simply because it showed consumers that you don't have to spend upwards of $40,000 on an EV. However, the vehicle is not a rumor, and it's definitely something Tesla is looking toward developing soon. Musk said last year, well, we're not currently working on the, on a $25,000 car. We, you know, at some point, we will, but we have enough on our plate right now. Too much on our plate. Frankly, so, you know, at some point, there will be, the $25,000 Tesla will likely be a part of the company's next-gen platform which will be discussed during the Investor Day on March 1st. Musk once again confirmed during the Q4 and full year 2022 earnings call that this will be on the agenda for the event. What won't happen? A Tesla motorcycle while Tesla did unveil a Tesla Cyber ATV at the Cybertruck event in 2019. Musk said Tesla will never develop an electric motorcycle. I had a road bike until I was 17 and was almost killed by a truck. Musk said, so we're not going to do motorcycles. The bottom line of course. We already know Tesla is developing a new version of the Model 3 within Project Highland. While this could be more of an internal revamp than anything, just as the Model S and Model X refreshes were, there are undoubtedly plenty of things in the works. Source reposted and summarized from Joey Clender at teslarty.com. My take I was thinking maybe a Tesla motorcycle. What are your thoughts? Tesla Supercharging Network Almost 400 stations added in Q4 2022, January 28, 2023, during the fourth quarter of 2022. Tesla significantly accelerated the expansion rate of its supercharging network around the world. The number of new stations amounted to 395. 78% more than a year ago, which is the new quarterly record. The previous one was 383 stations in Q4 2020. 
the number of new individual connectors increased by 59% year-over-year to 3,536, which is the second highest quarterly result so far. The record is 3,840 in Q4 2020. The average ratio of connectors per station amounted to 9.0. Quarterly results. 395 new stations. 8% more than a year ago. 3,536 new individual connectors stalls. 59% more than a year ago. 9.0 connectors. Stalls per station on average 10% less than a year ago. Number of new Tesla superchargers globally. Q4 2022. In 2022, Tesla installed more than 1,200 new stations. With almost 11,000 individual connectors. Which means that the network is roughly one-third larger than a year ago. Additionally, Tesla continues to expand the non-Tesla supercharger pilot in Europe. Where customers can use some of the superchargers in a total of 15 countries. Number of Tesla superchargers globally. Q4 2022. As of the end of the quarter, Tesla increased the cumulative number of supercharging stations and stalls to 4,678 stations. 35% more than a year ago. 42,419 individual connectors stalls. 35% more than a year ago. 9.1 connectors stalls per station on average. 0.1% more than a year ago. The network officially exceeded the level of 40,000 stalls in November 2022. While the network turned 10 years old in September 2022. Over 10,000 stalls were installed in Europe as of October 2022. And in China as of December 2022. Assuming another five-digit number of supercharging stalls in 2023. We guess that the network will reach around 50,000 stalls in Q4. The number of Tesla superchargers globally. First, September 2012, 10,000, June 2018, 20,000, November 2020, 30,000, November 2021 plus 10,000 in one year, 35,000, June 2022 plus 5,000 in roughly seven months, 40,000, November 2022 plus 10,000 in one year, if all of the 42,400 plus stores were powered simultaneously at 100 kilowatt average for illustrative purposes. The total output would be over 4.2 gigawatts. As of today, Tesla superchargers offer a peak power output of up to 250 kilowatt. But it's expected to increase to 300 kilowatt and beyond in the future. There was a rumor about 324 kilowatt hour in the case of V3 superchargers. Tesla superchargers peak output, V2. 150 kilowatt compared to 120 kilowatt originally. V3, 250 kilowatt C 2021 Tesla Model S Plaid fast charging analysis and comparison with Lucid Air. The latest reports indicate that Tesla is also preparing to launch V4 superchargers, which are expected to remind us of the design of Tesla megachargers for trucks. Most recently, Tesla announced V4 charging version to handle power output as high as 1 plus MW. During the fourth quarter of 2022, Tesla announced the opening of its proprietary charging standard, which will be called the North American Charging Standard NACS. In the near future, the company is expected to retrofit its charges with a solution magic dock to charge also electric vehicles compatible with the CCS Combo 1J1772 Combo Standard. In Europe and most of the rest of the world, New Tesla cars are equipped with a CCS Combo 2 compatible charging inlet for both AC and DC charging. In China, the company uses GBT charging inlets one for AC and one for DC charging. Source. Reposted and summarized from Mark Kane at InsideEVS.com. My take. Elon needs to keep pumping out supercharger stations to keep up with all the cars he is selling. Tesla stock rebounds 50% in less than one month in 2023. January 28, 2023, Tesla stock is up 50% less than a month into 2023. The spike in the company's stock price follows a sharp downturn that occurred in 2022. Last year, Tesla stock fell sharply, losing over 60% of its value due to widespread unfavorable conditions in the tech and automotive sectors. Tesla felt the losses due to increased vehicle prices, delays in some company products, and CEO Elon Musk's acquisition of Twitter.
It was a challenging year for Tesla bulls as their portfolios continued to get hammered by the drops. Patience has paid off. And Tesla stock is rebounding nicely in 2023. Tesla had already spiked 36% on the year before the company's Q4 and full year 2022 earnings call on Wednesday. The company reported a strong showing by beating EPS estimates and narrowly missing revenue predictions from Wall Street. Tesla shares pushed themselves up nearly 10% before the opening bell on Thursday. The stock opened at $159.96 today and is up over 3% at 9.55 a.m. on the East Coast. Tesla's massive price cuts in early January, which saw vehicles re-enter affordability for many American car buyers, helped the stock begin to rebound. Data showed both the Model 3 and Model Y had significantly increased addressable markets due to the price reductions. When combined with the Inflation Reduction Act tax credits, buyers could see discounts of more than $20,000. Tesla reported several exciting developments during the earnings call, including a rough start date for the Cybertruck and hints toward an expansive product lineup. It was a fantastic year for Tesla. It was our best year ever on every level, CEO Elon Musk said. Source. Reposted and summarized from Joey Clender at teslarty.com. My take. Don't miss out. Jump on board now. Or you might be sorry.